Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to All Things Cruises. My name is Krista Wiley. I am a one-star double platinum, three-time ITAN card holder. And today we are going to be going over doing a walkthrough of MSC. So we're going to get in there. We're going to push all the buttons. We're going to see all of the things. We're going to check out all the resources that MSC has for us. And then at the end, if I do have time, I will walk you guys through just a very basic booking, um, nothing super fancy. So let me go ahead and open this. How many of you guys are, is everyone registered for MSC? Put in the chat box. Is everybody registered for MSC? I am. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Perfect. All right. Uh, for those of you guys that aren't registered for MSC, you are going to register with MSC the same way that you register for VAX. You're going to go do a supplier request form, and then you're going to obviously wait those four to seven business days in order for it to go through. And the reason why I ask is because I want to make sure that as I'm going through this, you guys are able to go through it as well, or if there's any issues, we can try to address it. All right. So. We are going to go ahead and get in here and all right. So MSC, I want to say MSC is probably like our mid range of friend friendliness on the uh, portals. I want to say most people that it's okay. They're, they're pretty okay. Uh, with booking on MSC. Um, but like I said, we will at the end kind of go through that. Okay. So that's going to be under the booking, <laughs> right? Booking has the individual booking group, booking group, co quotator, uh, managed booking, quick pay, mice and charters, group programs, departure calendar, commission and pay modics, um, before departure checklist, traveler information, special needs, web check in, e ticket, important documents, and uh, under MSC documents and policies. You guys, please click around, especially if you're looking at booking an MSC cruise, make sure that you're going in and you're clicking all the buttons, checking everything out, because I find 90% of the time questions that people ask in their chats or in their groups are things that can easily be found if just moseying around on the site, right? So, there's different important documents here that you can read about. Let's see, what other things, web check-in, special needs, um, traveler information. I know one of the things that people ask a lot is, do I need a passport in order to cruise, right? That's a big one. Do I need a passport, right? Most of the time, if you come to their sites, to their websites, they're going to tell you what is, you know, what's required in order to cruise. Okay, for both security and immigration purposes, each guest is responsible for identifying, securing, presenting all required travel documents, right? USA and Canadian citizens, United States and Canadian citizens must have the, have either a valid passport or a val or valid documents as defined by the Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative. Visit U.S. Customers and Border Protection website for additional information, blah, 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 United States citizens on a round trip cruise, departing from the United States port, sailing within the Western Hemisphere, and ending in the same United States port can use a government issued picture ID along with proof of citizenship in the form of an original or notarized government issued birth certificate or original naturalization certificate in lieu of a passport. Okay, so this is a big question that I get. Krista, can, you know, it's a closed loop cruise. Does this cruise line allow it, right? They're going to have that information for you. Do not be. One of those people, I just heard a horrible, horrible story um, the other day. I was reading about it. It was a couple who uh, got to, they got to Seattle. They were actually taking a cruise from Seattle. It was like one of those long ones that takes you to Hawaii and, and down, right? And they get to Seattle and the husband didn't have, didn't bring his passport. He had a passport, didn't bring his passport. He just brought his birth certificate and his and I think, well, we called the cruise line and the cruise line said that we didn't need our passport or no, our travel agent. It wasn't the cruise line. It was our traveling travel agent said that we didn't need our passport. So my husband left it at home. So they said, the husband said, okay, I, I'll fly back to Texas. 
my my wife get on the cruise. I'm going to fly back to Texas and then I'll fly to Hawaii and I'll meet up in Hawaii. They're like, no, like not that they wouldn't. They wouldn't let him do that. So make sure, you know, as travel agents, make sure that you guys are well versed. Now, I am always of the belief that anytime you leave the country, you should have a passport. And the reason I say that is because you just never know. What if you get hurt in Jamaica and you're in the hospital or you have to be flown home or whatever? You don't have a passport, right? I, I think that a lot of people, they, they don't want to think that things are going to happen or bad things are going to happen or things are going to go awry or whatever, right? Don't put yourself in a position of being stranded in another country without a passport, right? So I always just, that's something that I tell my clients, like, this is the reason why it's so important for you to have um that passport international travelers right we can read up on that southern caribbean west indies and antilles concerning embarkation and disembarkation again lots and lots of information that you guys need to know united kingdom and ireland you know they they have to have a passport united arab emirates lots of info in here right we're obviously not going to go over it required documents for a visa right check and make sure your clients if they need a visa it's not hard to get a visa. Visas are very easy to get um, or to apply for, especially if you're in the United States. So just make sure you guys read through all the, the facts. I know some people, it's just, well, it just it's just easier to ask the question, right? I, I understand it's e just easier to, to answer the, or to ask the question, but understand the person answering it, you know, that they took the time to, to learn in their business, right? New to cruising, how will I know which cruises are open? open looped or closed loop. So Amanda, they just, they just explained that right here, right? Um, in the United States citizens, citizens on a round trip cruise, departing from one United States port, sailing within the Western hemisphere and ending in the same United States port can use a government that's called a closed loop cruise. Now, I always tell people check with each, with each cruise line because they may not, they may not choose do not follow the closed loop law. It's whatever the cruise line wants to do, right? Their their rules supersede whatever the, the federal um, or whatever the mandates are. So um, that can be found under uh, traveler, oops, traveler information. There's also some checklists, you know, special needs. I know that that's a big one that a lot of people like to special in or specialize in is special needs. So if you come in here to special needs, It's going to tell you special requirements. Should your clients need special needs, please down this form, download this form and forward to, right? So they're gonna give you all the information, just come on here and look what is required, whether they need a CPAP or they need wheelchair service or they're blind or they're deaf or whatever, right? Just make sure that you're connecting uh, with the proper department, right? So that's gonna be under booking. Learn about MSC, right? We have the different experiences, whether it's Bella Fantastica or Aurora, Aurora, I can't ever say these words, right? Right. Discover MSC, find your BDM, MSC Yacht Club, health and safety, family and children, entertainment, dining, sports and fitness, MSC for me, all news and sustainability, insurance. What does the insurance include, right? You're getting that travel protection. Your clients ask you, what does the insurance include? What does it cover? What is it not covered, right? You guys can read up on the insurance policies. Benefits and registration for Voyagers Club, status match program, special pricing programs, fly and cruise, right? Most cruise lines have a flight department. Packages, right? Excursions, drink packages, dining packages, internet, fun pass, laundry, motor coach transfers, right? So we can go through here and we can find all kinds of information. I tell you, these portals a plethora, right? A plethora of information. Why should they upgrade to the yacht club, right? What is it including? Health and safety. Maybe they want to know what's the, sh how's the ship cleaned or what do they do to, to, well, apparently that, that site is not working. So, um, but you guys can go back and check it out later. Let's see health and safety, family and children. What kind of entertainment? Find your BDM dining. Um, this is a big one, right? Drink packages. People ask this a lot about drink packages. Oops, why am I under there? That's not what I want. Drink packages. Just... 
So this will give you information on drink packages, right? Who needs to have them? Who gets them? Who doesn't get them? What not? Can you earn commission? Can you not earn commission? Right? Your benefits, earn commission on each drink package sold, right? Provide a customized service, help clients to select the package that best suits their needs, build loyalty, your clients' benefits, great value up to 15% off versus onboard prices, packages to suit every taste, unlimited drinks, right? You can come through here. What do the different drink packages include? How much do these drink packages cost, right? You're not typically going to, um, some cruise lines do allow you to add the package at the time of booking the cruise, but other times they don't. Maybe your client's not sure if they want the drink package, but they want to know what it's going to cost. Right, easy package. This is what it includes: prepaid price per day, six nights and less, forty-nine dollars per person per day. Cruises seven nights and more, forty-six dollars per person per day. Right, you guys can go through here. What's the minors package? What does that include? Premium extra package. What does that include? And the price, right? So they really have all of this info. Let's see. Um, what's another one people ask about? Excursions, right? Book their excursions in advance. Guests save, guests save up to 20% versus onboard price. You get your commission. It's a win-win, right? You earn commission on each excursion sold. Provide customized service. Give your clients, right? This is what they're going to get. This is what you're going to get. These are the different types of excursion things that they have. Right. So for those of you, oh, what you know, what cruise lines pay out commissions for excursions and drink packages, right? Create, maybe you guys create a notebook of different cruise lines and which ones have what, or you have a spreadsheet or, or however it keeps, you know, it works in your mind, right? But obviously MSC is one of those that's going to pay you out for all of those things if they're booked with you prior to. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to look in here? Special pricing programs, flying cruise, motor coach benefits and registration status match program. Uh, let's look at the experiences. What's Bella Fantastica? Because that's something you guys are going to see when we go in there to look at the different bookings. They're like different tier levels, right? So Bella, they they step up and they include more things versus, you know, I guess you, similar to when you are doing like a hotel booking and it's like the standard room versus like concierge or butler, right? Those are all different types. Not saying that that's exactly the same here, but that's, those different levels include different things, right? So you guys can see here, Bella experience at a glance. So you guys can take a look at that. Um, Fantastica, what does it include? So when you're looking at that tier, so it's going to include all of those things from the original, from Bella, as well as this is available for balcony, ocean view, and interior rooms, booking eligibility, so on and so forth, right? So that's going to be under the experiences. Now, ships and destinations. Maybe you want to know about a destination. Maybe you want to know about a certain cruise or a cruise ship, right? So let's let's just pick this one, MSC Seashore. So it's going to give you a picture of the ship. It's going to tell you about the ship. You can download the technical sheet, which is going to tell you gross tonnage, how many people is on it, how many employees are on it. Tell you all that's technical stuff, right? It's also going to give you the different decks with the different suites. It'll probably give you different pictures of different suites. Ocean View Bella Room, Deluxe Balcony Aura, MSC Yacht Club Royal Suite, Premium Suite with a Whirlpool. So it's going to give you all of those different room types. So maybe this is something that you want to check out when you are looking at different rooms. You guys can look at that. If we click on the ship, does it give us a... Sometimes if you click on it, it'll give you a the schematics of the ship, like a deck by deck, but it did not. It just kind of disappeared. I don't know where it went. But you guys can see the different, you can see all the different sh uh, ships in the fleet. And then you guys, let's go learn. Let's see, where do they go in Egypt, Red Sea, and Saudi Arabia?
So this is going to tell you about that cruise, right? Saudi Arabia and Red Sea, Middle East cruise through the Red Sea, sailing through Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt is the perfect combination between history and nature. So maybe this is a cruise. Maybe if you have somebody that's interested in doing Jordan and Egypt and, and they kind of want to bounce around these places. That's one of the reasons why I fell in love with cruising so much is because I wanted to see as much of the world as I could as fast as possible. And then I knew where I wanted to go back and visit. So maybe they're like, oh, I really want to go to these places. You're like, well, let's do a cruise. And then if you end up wanting to see something more later on down the road, you absolutely can. So again, you guys can go through all of these. Where do they go in Asia? So Asia cruises, it's actually giving you some different sailing availabilities also. So maybe that's a way that you filter like, oh, my client really wants to go to Asia, but I don't know what dates they're sailing. I don't know what ship it is, right? So maybe you just go to the destination and you look it up that way. It'll also tell you where they visit. Uh, MSC Grand Voyages and World Cruises. I know I've had several people ask me which cruise lines do World Cruises and where do they go? And so you guys can click on here. And if there's anything available, it will show it to you. Let's see if there is. Oh, it looks like in nine days they have one sailing, right? Uh, looks like it's mostly sold out though. So, but you guys can see here, they do have those different, uh, maybe it's just, there's no interiors. I think that's what it is. But you guys can see here, for instance, April, 2024, right? There's a balcony. It's, this is, it's going to show you the breakdown. $9,200 for a balcony room for a 25 night cruise. That's not too shabby right now. Obviously that's that's not probably with, uh, it looks like it is including specialty. Uh, let's see. What does it include? Dine and drink package is included. Excursions package is included. 30% discount on laundry on board, as well as the cruise fare. That's not too bad, right? How many of you guys would love to do like do a mock-up or do an advertisement about a world cruise? Now, obviously April, 2024, that's right around the corner. So maybe that's a little too close, but who knows? Let's go see. Here's one, January, 2025. So that's a year out. Woo-wee. You guys can see why that other one is so cheap, right? Because it is a last minute cruise, $50,000. Oh, it's also 116 nights. That's probably why it's so expensive, right? $50,000 for two people in a balcony room, but it's 116 nights, right? So uh, it's a lot longer, <laughs> uh, 34,000. Again, 116, but it's an interior room. So you guys could come in here. You guys could look those up. Never know, never know who might want to do something like that. Let's look at the MSC Grand Voyages. Uh, let's see, is there any? That's only $431 a day. That's not bad, Janelle. Like if you bring it, if if you bring that down, right? It, oh man. And that's $431 a day for two people, right? Because that price was total. So the $50,000 or whatever was for two people. So it's really 215, 215 per person. I mean, I mean, people, people RV for a living. I mean, why not cruise for a living? I'd go, I'd go too. Yeah. If I didn't have little kids, absolutely. All right. So Grand Voyages here is, uh, this is Ocean View, 25 nights. It's, uh, it's again, it's leaving next month, but that's not bad. Less than $3,000 for an Ocean View room for a 25 night cruise. Like what? Janelle, do the math on that one, right? How many, how much is that? $3,000 divided by 25. And I went up to 3,000, right? 
Um, 16 nights, 21. Ooh, look at this one. Interior room, just over $2,000 for 21 nights. Like, what the what? <laughs> right? Absolutely. So you guys can see these different, the grand voyages in here. They'll show you the different itineraries and whatnot that's on here. And what's kind of cool is that a lot of these, they're including your uh, the food and drink packages. So that's pretty neat as well. All right. So you guys can go under there, like I said, under uh, the ships and destinations and see what those include. Marketing. You guys, this is so pivotal. How many of you guys are utilizing the marketing material that our vendors and suppliers are giving us? How many of you guys use the marketing material they give us? Me? Anybody not? Not enough. <laughs> Me, not yet. You guys, we are, we get so much, right? Make sure you're utilizing the things that we're given. Okay, sales tool, product toolkit, customizable flyers, trade incentives, technical sheets, logos, maps, flyers, image library, integration tools, right? Even if you guys are just looking for images, if you guys are looking for customizable flyers, I'm sure that they probably have one of those grand tours. They probably have them already helped, you know, super helpful, but they have these flyers. All you have to do is type in your information, put in your logo or headshot, whatever you want, right? Type in any kind of information that you want in there. Maybe that's your mock-up. Maybe it's who knows, whatever you want to fill in the, fill in the blank. Here's these ships. Here's that flyer, right? So they give us tons of marketing stuff. Let's see, product toolkit. What's under here? Ooh, that's a hard one. Which cruise line do you think has the most best free marketing material? Uh, Royal Caribbean has a lot. Virgin has a lot. Carnival has a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see <clears throat> about MSC for me program. The personal, the personal cruise assistant. It's like Alexa for your cabin, right? So there is MSC for me, Zoe, whatever that is. So you guys can learn about that on there as well. So marketing, maps, logos, all of these different things, trade incentives, whatnot. You guys can use that. Um, I think if you have your CLIA card, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but if you have your CLIA card, I believe we get a discount at Office Max. I think it's Office Max. <clears throat> uh, you're welcome. No problem. Also, what I usually do, you know, if I'm utilizing flyers, like if I'm doing a vendor show, I'll print one flyer and I will put it like in a stand up acrylic on my table. So I don't usually print out a whole lot of them now, unless you're wanting to take them and you're wanting to put them up, then that's a little bit different. Um, okay. So training, right? This is where you're going to find your MSC training. This is your MSC Masters, webinars and training videos, MSC Cruises, TA Guide, MSC Tips and Tricks. I love tips and tricks, you guys. You know how much you can learn in the tips and tricks of anything, right? Let's look in tips and tricks. A whole lot. 
learn how to issue an e-ticket, cruise result page, additional information available, homepage, new quick search for Voyagers Club, explore a new menu layout, new voyages selection indicator and layout. You know, let me look at this real fast because one of the really cool things is on uh, um, different groups that you guys might be joining on Facebook or whatnot, right? Maybe it's a, you're in a foodie group. Maybe you have some people that are foodies, right? And that's something that they're interested in. Um, Sean, again, like I said at the beginning of this, I will, I'm recording and I will have it up on my YouTube later today. Make sure that you are subscribed and follow. Um, all right. So all kinds of language information available for shore excursions, stateroom type. So again, all kinds of information for you guys on there under training webinars and training videos. You guys, there's a lot of video, there's a lot of trainings out there that are provided by our vendors and suppliers that are outside of like Archer or what your team might be doing. And you guys can look for those webinars. You guys can look for those webinars on any vendor or supplier. They usually have like a list of webinars or uh, trainings. Uh, Stephania, somebody put it in the chat, uh, my YouTube in the chat for me. All right. Download MSC Book Quick User Guide, how to find more groups, onboard functions and requirements, managing groups, all kinds of little YouTube videos in here for you guys to learn about. So you guys can go through that. And that's going to be under training and then webinars and videos. So it looks like they have a lot of just like pre-recorded videos, but I do know that MSC does live trainings as well. And then MSC Master's this is where you're going to do your training. All right, under my profile, manage users profile, contact, sign up for news and special offers, trade incentives, find your BDM and contact us. Now, newsletter sign up, you guys, this is super cool for any of you guys. How many of you guys have a newsletter? Do a newsletter or a blog on maybe your website or your LinkedIn or any, I mean, there's all kinds of things out there that people use. How many of you guys are utilizing that? Victoria's got a blog. Rebecca says, I will. Michelle said, I'd like to, but haven't yet. I wish I was that talented. You don't, I was waiting, Michelle. You don't have to be that talented. They are vendors and suppliers. Give us newsletters. They give us the information. It's our job to share the information. So I have, you guys, I have a newsletter on LinkedIn that I literally could post every single day on. To be honest, I post on it probably every couple of weeks and I have 9,000 subscribers. Every single time I put a blog out there, every single time I put a, any information out there or whatever, travel deal, whatnot, it gets emailed to 9,000 people. Right? You don't have to write it. You don't like our, their vendors and suppliers give us the information. Now, if you want to write it, you can, but I'm definitely, uh, or, you know, chat GBT it right uh let's see i hadn't thought of that in the process i started one but i need to be consistent that co consistent i swear that's like a four-letter word around here right i missed the part where you mentioned that we need to register somewhere to oh mary yeah so on youtube where do you get the info lydia where do i get the info for the newsletters sign up for msc right here sign up for their newsletter go look up articles we, ha we have a lot of vendors and suppliers out there that give us articles. We have all the info. It's just our job to find it, right? So <clears throat> that's all that information up there, up top. So looks like we do have a little bit of time. I'm going to go through an individual booking. We're just going to kind of walk through the booking portal. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> no worries, Lydia. I'm not going to go through anything super, super crazy. Just a very basic individual booking, right? Let's go two adults, 
We're just going to stick with that. No children, none of that, right? Where do we want to go? Let's go on a, oh, I always do something super exotic and then it ends up not giving me any. Let's do Northern Europe. I'm going to leave it at that. That way it's, <clears throat> all right, search cruises. Okay, fine. Make me put in a required. All right, so now it's going to give me all of the European cruises I chose between the middle of October to the end of November. I put in a balcony room. So it's going to give me all of these. You guys can look at it a list. You guys can look at it as a calendar, whatever the case may be. I like the lists, right? So now it's going to give you the six nights, seven nights. Where is it embarking from Denmark? It ends up in Germany. Uh, this one is a seven nights. Leaves out of Denmark, ends up in Denmark, Germany, Germany. It does, Vanessa, depending on cruise line. Most cruise lines have their have their itineraries out year and a half, maybe two years, just depends. Um, but for sure, at least a year, year and a half. All right. So you guys can see here. No worries. Yes, Mary, just go ahead and follow, just subscribe to my YouTube and you'll see all of these recordings on there. All right, so let's go ahead and choose this one itinerary. It's going to the, it uh, leaves out of Netherlands, goes to Belgium, um, goes to France, United Kingdom, Germany, right? It leaves out of Rotterdam, ends up back in Rotterdam. Okay, you guys can see balcony here. You guys can see the rates. You guys can check out the details. Now, it does have a option to send details to your client via email. However, I'm not a super big fan of that because I don't like to email things out to my clients. I like to personally deliver my quotes over the phone with them, but there is a section to email. It's going to show you guys the itinerary, right? It goes to Belgium, France, United Kingdom, Day at Sea, Germany, Day at Sea, Netherlands, right? So, you guys could look at dining, entertainment, activities, families, good deal, interior ocean view. This is Bella. Remember how we were looking at the Bella versus the Fantastica versus the Aria, Aura, however you say that, right? It's going to show you. So Bella is going to have, the, is going to be, uh, there's going to be interior ocean view balcony. These are going to be your more flexible or more uh, budget friendly pricings. Then you guys can go up here, even more. Aura, and then we have the yacht club, right? What does the yacht club include? It's going to be the high end of the high end of MSC. Now you have the MSC yacht club deluxe, deluxe grand, executive and family suite, royal club suite. It's going to give you kind of a picture of it, give you some information, whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just stick with a balcony room. It's also going to give you the different dates, right? The different dates in October and the date in November falling in between. Now, again, make sure you guys, if somebody has cruised on MSC before, make sure that you're getting that club number. Uh, hold on, Mary. I want to make sure to stay on topic. I don't want to, I'm not going to ignore you, but just let me stay on top of this first. All right. So we have the two adults in here. Any kind of special discounts, military, civil servant discounts. Honey discount, right? You guys put in those discounts. Make sure to put in their MSC Voyager Club number. Confirm and proceed. All right. So these are those different 
add-ons, escape to see cruise only, drinks, Wi-Fi, onboard credit included, brochure rate. So if you click on this, it's going to give you the pricing for it. Now, stateroom type. If you don't want ocean view, you don't want interior, you want to be up there with the balcony and the yacht club. Display sold out items. No, I don't want you to tell me what's sold out, right? So now you guys have the availability, right? Use those filters. So you have the yacht club. They have that room. We have the balcony room in the different classifications. Remember when we read up on those, what they include, what they don't include. So we can go yacht club. We can go balcony. Let's just go yacht club. So now it's going to show us the cruise price. Taxes, fees, port fees, whatnot, non-commissionable fares total. The cruise, shipboard credit, $100 USD non-refundable. You guys select add-on items, book now to receive discounted price. You can add spa, spa packages, specialty dining, spa packages. Already included in your cruises, dining, entertainment, activities, and family stuff. You guys can also come up here and you guys can edit. Yes, gratuities will be the same whether you prepay or you pay on board. All right. Now, you guys can change the stateroom. So it automatically assigns you to 15015 on deck 15. You guys could change the room if you wanted. The selected promotion is drinks, Wi-Fi, onboard credit included. We chose the Yacht Club Deluxe Suite. You guys can view the pricing details. Standard commission, right? This is the commission that's on this cruise. This is the total price due. For two people, it's an eight day, seven nights. You can show the itinerary. You can learn more of the, the description. The deposit, you guys saw up here, the deposit is 398. You guys can input the information here. Click next, but obviously I'm not going to. Yes, add travel and medical insurance. You guys can turn the insurance on. You guys could proceed. What is the bonus commission? What do you mean? Um, if you go back where right before this screen, it said the commission and then the line above it said bonus commission. Oh, it may be like if they're offering bonus commissions, sometimes they'll they'll add like if they're having specials or whatnot, then they will they'll put it in there because it's not typical. Okay. Thank you. This price is just for the cruise, correct? So I'm not sure what you mean, Rebecca. It it's not including like their excursions. It was including the drink package and those other things that was included in there. No, it does not include flights. All right. So now you guys, I clicked on the add-ons to add to your cruise. So you can add on. These are some excursions that they have available. If you guys wanted to do that, load more. Food and drinks, spa, internet packages, digital services, photo packages, laundry packages. Right. So it's kind of nice that they do allow you to load up the cruise. They do let you load up that uh, the quote through MSC. So this is the different Wi-Fi packages, stateroom services, laundry packages, photo packages, so on and so forth. You guys can see that in here. All right, so obviously this is as far as I'm going to go, but this is where you could put in their information. This is where you're going to put in their information, verify their yacht or their Voyager club number. 
make sure that you have that insurance clicked on. Uh, no, Mary. So that was one of the things that we were showing when you go through the tips and tr the, the facts pages, right? We went over that and there is a discount for purchasing it prior to, as well as different things we get commissioned on if it's booked prior to them sailing. All right. So then obviously confirm options, confirm and pay, right? But I'm not going to do any of that because I'm not trying to actually book this cruise. So that is booking in a nutshell.